Welcome back to Nice Boy News. I'm Nice Boy. Our first story tonight is one of the most beautiful we've ever had on the show, and I can't wait to share it with you. Claire Smith, growing up in England, was told by her teachers that she would never amount to anything because all she wanted to do was play soccer with the boys. Well, she went on to play professional soccer in England for Middlesbrough Football Club, and soccer is what brought her to the U.S., She started her own soccer company and eventually sold it to the largest corporately run sports company in the U.S. This is also where she met her now wife, J.D. She's been a diehard fan of Middlesbrough men's team since she was a teenager. Their recently born son, Cohen, received a Middlesbrough football jersey as a gift when he was born. And this past Sunday, the three of them watched the first Middlesbrough game of the season on TV together. Cohen sporting his Middlesbrough football jersey. J.D. said that seeing the smile on Claire's face as they watched the game together as a family, Cohen and his teeny little jersey was absolute best part of her week. And this was absolutely, reading this story was absolutely the best part of my week. So thank you so much for sharing. And to those teachers in England who said Claire would never amount to anything, oi, screw ya. John Purdy recently ate an omelet with pierogies in it. John said it contained two delicious jumbo pierogies, bacon and Swiss cheese, topped with more Swiss cheese and bacon and scallions and sour cream. John said that their waiter was extremely enthusiastic about this pierogi omelet and said next time he should try it with kielbasa. Amber Seats recently adopted a cat and named it Delilah. It's a very cute cat. Look at this tiny little kitty. Turns out Delilah was a boy. How do they know? Ask your parents. But now the cat's name is Devin. Reiko and Ocho, the dog, have a beautiful friendship. They do almost everything together, but mostly they like to cuddle. Well, Ocho got a big surprise this weekend when he got to reunite with his brother from Puerto Rico named Bojangles. The two dogs were just so excited to be with each other. And Reiko said it was so cool to see how similar they are, how they move the same way, and they both have a very sweet and chill personality. I hope Bojangles and Ocho have many more <laughs> adventures together in the future. <gasps> oh, do you hear that? It's time for everyone's favorite segment, Negative Nelly News. Nelly, hit it. It's hotter than the devil's undercarriage outside. My cousin Anna's kids had their first day of pre-K and kindergarten this week, and it was absolutely adorable. Dougie and Lillian both starting their first days of school together. Dougie wants to grow up to be a marine biologist. Lillian wants to grow up to be a teacher. Dougie's favorite book is Dinosaurs, and Lillian's favorite food is chicken nuggets and french fries. And I think that's all of our favorite foods, if we're all being honest. Am I right? Good luck in school, Dougie and Lillian. I know you're both going to be fantastic, but take it from someone with experience. Don't eat too much glue. Michigan glasses boy Tom Sasso, and also life of the party wherever he goes, attended a wedding of some dear friends of his. Now, I can attest that Tom Sasso at a wedding is maybe one of the finest creatures on Earth. It's like seeing a Pokemon evolve into Charizard, and he did not disappoint he put some flowers in his shirt, and I'm sure those were there for the entire night. And he, I imagine, collected more things throughout the night in his chest, in his chestal region. You know, who knows what ended up in there, but it started with flowers, and that's a beautiful thing. Our final story tonight is one of old friends. Folks, we've said it here on many an occasion. What's better than old friends? Zuzana Fahey said she got to spend the entire weekend with her old college roommate and her family of five, plus her family of four. She said it's not that easy to get together anymore, so that was a big deal, and they had a blast. Susanna, I'm so happy for you. That looks like such a good time, and it looks quite different from the last time I got together with my college roommates. The last time I got together with my college roommates, we put a five-pound can of beans in a microwave for an hour to see if it would explode. When it did not, we put lit fireworks in the microwave to see if it would explode, and it, it did. The Nice Boy News challenge of the week this week is to reach out to someone who was featured in this video and tell them how happy you are about the good news they had to share. Good news is always better when it's celebrated with friends. If you don't know anyone who was featured in this video, reach out to them anyway. Look them up on Facebook or Instagram, and maybe you'll make a new friend. That's going to do it for Nice Boy News this week. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, be sweet to each other. I love you from here to the ends of the earth.
The nice boy nudes, nudes. Nice boy nudes would not sell. <laughs>